Hey, he's on YouTube, so he knows best. So here with another What's on My iPad edition of my videos here. I'm going to show you some cool applications you can actually get for your iPad right now. So just going to jump right into it. All right, the first application I'm going to show you is called Wired Magazine. And uh, this is the, just a regular magazine that you probably find on your newsstands, Wired. Very popular, very fun to read. But it's actually a little bit more interactive here on the iPad. It's actually pretty neat. So say this article right here, you can actually drag and zoom to something about Roblox or something. I'm assuming some Lego box or something like that. But anyway, you can drag and zoom just like that. So it's kind of interactive with that. Uh, here's an uh, article going over different TV reviews. Instead of having multiple pages, simply tap on the TV that you want to hear a review about or look at a review about. So it's pretty cool. Just like that. Advertisements. Adver the ads are in here are actually pretty high quality, so I actually don't mind looking at them. Zoom like that. So, I, I mean, I think it's really, it's really cool. Um, so it works well. It's not too bad, not intrusive. The ads aren't as aren't more than what you would probably find in a regular magazine. So I don't mind reading this. So I'm actually I don't read magazines that much, but except like Macworld magazine and stuff like that. But this will actually get my attention right here. All right. So next thing I'm gonna show you is called the Pages application, and it's kind of overdue. This is like the word processor for Apple devices and Macs. So it's very in, in, intuitive here. You can zoom in like that. I'm gonna make a uh, picture a little bit bigger there. You can actually drag on it like that. Now I was trying to rotate it. There you go. You can rotate it like that. Double tap on the word. If you want to cut and paste it, delete it, add some words. And so I'm not going to show you this too much, but if you need a word processor for the iPad, this is the one to get pages. It's like 10 bucks, but I think it's worth it. And the people have been typing a lot on it, so it actually works pretty good. Next up is going to be wallpapers, which simple. I think a lot of people may have already, but this is if you want to get wallpaper strict directly to your iPad to use as your wallpaper background, something like that. You can just use this application. So save. I like this picture right here. Click on it. So I really like that one. I hit save. Now save them to my photo library. So if I wanted to, I can go down to my photo library uh, and then click on it right there. There's the picture. I think it probably rotates a little bit. But anyway, I can go ahead and set it as my wall tape, wallpaper there. And I didn't do it <laughs> because I didn't hit it all the way. But I set it as my wallpaper here. And I'll set it for just my home screen. And there it is. Now it's my home screen wallpaper. All right, next application I'm going to go ahead show you. It's not really working that great. It's been out for just a little while. It's called Camera A, Camera B. Now what this application does is a uh, application that allows you to use your your camera here that's on your iPhone or your iPod Touch and actually be able to project the image onto uh, the actual iPad itself. So let me go ahead and I think it's better if you actually start it on the iPhone first. Let me start it on the iPhone. And then start it on the iPad. It's a little trick that I had to learn. All right, so now I'll open up, and now it's looking at exactly what I'm looking at here. So again, this this is really buggy as you can see, but it just shows you what this developer is trying to do with the uh, the iPad here. So I can see probably in the 4.0 update they have a little bit more camera APIs to so give them a little bit more uh, leniency with the camera. So we can probably see some better things come with that. But you can actually snap a picture if you wanted to and cool things. So I'm just showing you that. Uh, I think it's like a dollar each. You got to get downloaded one for each one. I believe it's a dollar, maybe free. I don't know. But um, this is just a work in progress. Now, the last but not least, I'm going to show you SoundHound, which I really love this. It's like the Shazam competitor here, but it does a lot more than Shazam. And say you want to look for a song, right? And it's playing on the radio, something like that. You can just tap here and let the device itself listen to it and find the song. But say you're not on the radio, just trying to sing it yourself. Forever young, I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever and ever and ever? I think those are the words. If I don't know the words, then I'm actually pretty stupid. But all right, so and actually I started talking at the end, but there it is. Young Forever, Forever Young by Jay-Z and Mr. Hudson. So there it is right there. So I actually want to listen to it and make sure it's the right song here. All right, so that's no copyright. So there's the right song there. You can look at your history here. You can actually just type it uh, or say it like this. Well, let me, let me restart that. Let's say you just want to, don't want to sing, you don't want to look stupid, you just say the name of the artist, Eminem. All right, and there's Eminem. So you find different songs, different albums, and all that. So this is called SoundHound. I think this is about five bucks. It's actually a really cool application. You actually play your own music in here too, so it works really well. So this is just so you know, it's best here. This is another What's on My iPad edition here. I'm going to be making uh, another video going over some new gaming applications for this. So stay tuned for that one. But thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace, peace.